Hey everyone, it's me, Charlie YDM. Welcome back to part two of me playing Spell Dragon on gameplay four. So, um, as what we have done last time, we were exploring World 1 a bit and we um, we completed, no, we didn't complete, but we played a bit of that um, flight there. I'll forget the name of it, but um, yeah, we've done that and now we're going to try and go to um, a stage if I can somehow get past this thing. It can easily be done because I got past it before. Like, why did they make this place electric? So yeah, the first one we're going to try and go to is Terence Village. Terence, doesn't that name remind you of someone? <laughs> like, come on, if you watch Rubber Dubbers, you should know who I'm talking about. Or it could remind you of that character Terence from the Angry Birds. I mean, there are loads of names with the word Terence in it. Like, honestly, there are quite a few. Man, Spyro's so cute, honestly, just, just looking at him, he's, he's so cute. He's so... I can never get over that, honestly. Right, here we go. Got this way similar to the first stage. What is that? He's, he's, he's wearing sunglasses and he's holding an electric weapon. Look at him. Oh, blue gems. Yeah, he, he has. I've got five in it. In it. Don't, don't. <laughs> I mean that. I'm kind of worried that he'll hit me. That's what I'm worried about. Because, like, you know, I worry about that all the time. The frick. I have to hit him or something. I don't know. Oh, shoot. He fires it right towards me. Yeah, I have to. I have to charge him. These things are legit creepy. I'm telling you now, these, these things are creepy. It's not looking! When you don't look, you, you know you're screwed. Thing, those those characters are wearing sunglasses that makes them look cool when they really are not because they're failing to kill the good old Spider-Man who is smaller than them. Literally. Like, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? What do you think you're doing, eh? Is there another area here? Was this? No, this is where I came from, wasn't it? Die. And what are those things? They look creepy. Sounds like a raven rabbit. Ah! <laughs> I'm not even joking, it kind of does. Well, they act like one too, because they're dumb. They can shoot upwards as well. They can yell. Okay, they're alive. One up. See them there. Jesus Christ. Wait, is that a um I thought it was like a gem on top of the tower then because we saw that on Ice Cabin. I'm not sure they'll put it in here as well. <sighs> right. The key here is to make sure you back away because like, I'm not Entirely sure about these things. Oh, there was an area around there. Okay. Let's see that. There was more here. There was a dragon that I missed somewhere. I'm going to try and get to that now. So far, I think I've been through a lot of areas around here. Right. Where is it? I always go from the last because I want to make sure you know I get my progress done before actually hitting them. That take, that'll take me back from there. What was there? No. Sorry guys, I'm just too curious. Oh, there's those electric floor things again. They keep like, hitting the floor to make it electric. Watch out, Spyro. 
The dwarfs in these parts have discovered the power of electricity, and it really stays. Yeah, and that's why I'm that's why I'm very curious. Right, we're gonna hit it. Oh, I got very nervous then, honestly. So how would you hit these? Do you need like some kind of weapon to hit them. Well, I'll go for him first. So he doesn't mess everything up. Oh god, there's another one. My question is, how would you open these? That's my question. Yeah, what the frig is that? <laughs> Another one up there as well. And what do you need? Hit those things in. Ah, oh, shit. I did not see that coming. I was trying to freaking go for him and I didn't know he was going to turn that on. Obviously, fuck you. Well, you could probably do it as well, you know. You asshole. Oh, and then he hit me too. There's so much going on, honestly. I'm very nervous. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> he thinks he's cool when he's not. Sora's still here and he can come alive every time he dies. And you know that's true. Cyprin. Frick. Good job, Spyro. One day you'll be able to tell all the dragons about your amazing adventures. Sure, but what I'd really like to do is get out of this swamp. <laughs> Why couldn't you say how? That's bullshit. What I really want to know is how you open this chest. Where the fuck? Oh my god. You see, I hate it here, guys. I hate it here. No. What does that say? No ski. No dive. Oh, no diving or no skydiving. Does that say no skydiving? What does that say? There's no skydiving. Well, it makes no difference. Because, like, <laughs> when you're skydiving, it still shows you're diving. So I just. I don't know. I don't know who put that sign there. Someone did. Come on, bang the floor. Shut the fuck up. We really just went until you laughed and then you hit him. Wait, is there some, oh, some chest down there? Some chest, so what are they called? You know, chest to jump onto? Right, I've got to get up, get up there somehow, but I think to do that, I've got to go down here. And then, um, get back up. Oh, freaking sparks! <laughs> jump scare the camera like that. Oh my god, we hit ourselves! Like he hit me with his electric floor and then I hit myself with a friggin' with his friggin' electrical Vice thing. Well, I wait for him to do it. Now go for him. Now try and go for him. 
Oh. It's just you don't know when he's going to hit you or what he's going to do to hit you. That's what you don't know. Man, this level's huge. There is a lot to do, but I'm still trying to figure out how you open those chests and what kind of power you need to open it with. It's like, I haven't figured it out yet. There's a platform there I could have got onto. This is to return home, which you don't need to go in just yet. Let me see how many gems are I to collect. 400. No! Oh my god, why is it always. Every time I pause, why is it put me onto the exit level thingy or whatever it is? Why is it put me on there? Instead of just putting me on, um. Continue. Like, what the frick? Like, why does it do that? There probably is an option where you can start from happening, but still, there's no need. Alright, what's that? I've already been to that side or something, I don't know. It's empty. By the looks of what's going on there. What I'm trying to figure out is how you open that chest still. I'm still trying to figure it out. It's got at least some kind of power thing I can use to get there. Let's see, what is this used for? No skydiving, yeah I know that. What I've noticed is that this thing actually is going a bit higher than normal. It seriously is. Like it's, so first of all it goes, um, it's still going up somewhere. It's going like really high. Well, maybe, maybe it's not, I don't know. It's just it's going higher than normal, honestly. I think it could lead to something, I don't really know much about it. Um, I don't know. Anyways, guys, I'm going to return home now. I'll, go, I'll get the rest another time, so um, I'll see you guys next time.